Beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Tribe Tarot and I'm here with the astrology for September. So we're looking at all the signs. So today we're looking at Cancer. So check out your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. I want to say thank you for all your love and support. I really appreciate that. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. Please like, share, subscribe if you do. I also have a deck shop, a Patreon page if you'd like to help you know, support me further. The details are down below. I also have, I'm giving personal readings as well right now. So check those out. So we're looking at Cancer. So for the highest line in love, what does Cancer need to know for September? What does Cancer need to know? So we've got the Devil reversed. With the page of wands reversed. Two of wands. Page of pentacles. Why is the devil reversed? We've got Empress Energy. We have the Lady and the Lord. Six of Cups. Knight of Swords. So we've got Devil Energy Reverse clarified by the Empress. So this could be you. You, you could be working on some healing, um, letting go of some negative behaviours, addictive behaviours, um, patterns, old patterns, um, letting go of old ways, negative ways that were keeping you stuck. And as you do this, you're coming into the Empress Energy. So you're going to be in that receptive, loving, compassionate energy. And we have the Two of Wands Reverse clarified by the um lover's card the lady and the lord okay soulmate energy so there is no choice for you maybe there's just just one person that has your heart okay maybe there was no choice and we've got the six of cups so you're hoping for reconciliation and we have the knight of swords coming in um the two of wands sorry that's the two of wands what's that card oh page of wands so there is no communication. Maybe there's no communication between you and this person or you haven't met your soulmate yet. And there's a choice to be made, um, clarified by the Six of Cups. So there is, for some, it is somebody returning because it's uh, the Six of Cups is a reconciliation card. So you could be thinking about those times, okay, but there's a chance that you're going to reconcile. So we'll look at, look at that a bit more. But there is a message coming in with a page of pentacles so there is communication and we have a knight of swords energy so for some it could be uh, an air sign aquarius sleeper gemini and the knight of swords is fast communication so a message is going to come towards you fairly quickly okay and it could even be the person um is appearing with that message and i feel it's this soulmate energy so why is the devil reverse we've got queen of pentacles so, Earth Sun Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> I feel this is you. I feel that, although you're a water sign, I feel this is you. That you're more stable, you're grounded, you're loving, you're nurturing. And you're taking care of your own business right now. And, you know, there is no communication. You're, you're not in, there's no communication and there's page of cups upside down as well so there's no messages coming towards you at this point or you've not heard from this person there's no contact and there's a choice to be made coming out of the two of wands so what's this two of wands choice about here what's this two of wands choice about We've got King of Pentacles energy. So this is person matching your vibration, I feel. This is that soulmate. 
okay or you know they they could be an earth sign but they're just in that energy so somebody mature somebody grounded somebody financially stable and independent somebody that knows what they want um and they want a reconciliation and there's going to be a reaching out with the page of pentacles there why is the page of pentacles there why is the page of pentacles there well, we've got the chariot energy. So this is fast moving. And like I said, with the Knight of Swords, it's fast moving. Somebody's coming forward with their truth. Okay, they want to share their truth with you. Somebody wants to collaborate with the Three of Pentacles. They want to work together. They want to build something with you. And as I say, this is soulmate energy here with the, the Lady and the Lord. This is your soulmate. So what can you tell me about this soulmate? Yeah, with the Ten of Wands, it could have been a difficult connection. It could have been a difficult... There could have been lots of obstacles. There could have been lots of difficulties. And that could be why you went into separation. Um, but it's time to put the burdens down. And we've got reconciliation. So what can you tell me about that? Six of Cups. Yeah, we've got the world. So there is a whole new chapter going to start here. Okay, but we all have free will. And there is truth, you know, a message of truth. Wow, this is your emperor. I love this card. So handsome, isn't he? <laughs> um, and look at him. He's very connected to nature, this person. Look at all the wild animals around him. He could be somebody who's very comfortable in nature. Maybe somebody that works outdoors. Or is very connected to nature. Very grounded person. Uh, very much in their power. So this could be somebody that's been doing work on themselves. The devil energy could also refer to the, your connection. You know, there could have been codependent behaviour, toxic behaviour. And you had to separate to heal from these issues. Um, we have got six of wands. So there is success and victory here for you if you want it. This person is coming towards you to speak their truth. What else can you tell me? What outcome? What else can you tell me about the future? Yeah, we've got the full energy, the green man. We've got the full energy, taking a leap of faith. I feel that you'll want to take a leap of faith. And we've got the high priest. So this could lead to a commitment and this could be something that you've wanted. And we have your energy here, the queen of cups. So you're in that energy of love, self-love, nurturing, compassion. So I feel you are going to hear this person out. You are going to hear them out. Um... You know, and allow allow them to talk to you at least. Okay, so let's have a look at your final messages. Final messages for cancer. Believe in your good luck. So you might think this is too good to be true, but believe it. And call your emotions. You know, maybe you're upset with this person, but... Stay cool and calm, you know, listen to what they have to say. And release control, don't try and control the situation. Just listen and open up to change. You know, there's change coming towards you, open up to change. And push through any insecurity around this. Um, and keep your heart open. So that's a very important message here. Keep your heart open and see what happens. So I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Take care.